Hi there and welcome to Go on Shaw TV. I'm Christy Pick and today I am joined by the Watoto Children's Choir and the show starts right now. <laughs> We are joining the Watoto Children's Choir today. They're in Medicine Hat for a stop, and they're coming back on April the 27th. I'm joined by one of their team leaders, Duncan, now. Duncan, tell me a little bit about what the Watoto Children's Choir is and, and the ministry that you have in Africa. Uh, Watoto Children's Choir comprises of orphan children, and this time around we've got about 18 children, and they're representing about 4,000 children who have been able to benefit from the program. And we have a goal as a ministry to be able to take care of uh, 10,000 children. And the children that you, you will see soon, um, each child gets about an opportunity to travel one time. We take them back home. We select another group of 18 children. We bring them on the road. In this kind of sense, we're trying to raise the next generation of African and Ugandan leaders. Why we do this, we're trying to expose them to a different beauty that's outside there, in that as they are to grow up in our country, they are to bring the same kind of beauty in our country. Okay. Yeah. Now, I understand that you have Watoto Villages mm -hmm. back home, mm -hmm. um, and so that's where the children live. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about them and, and how all of this got started. Ah, how did it get started? Um, our country was majorly affected by war and disease, which was majorly AIDS. And after those two things, uh, the population of our country was majorly children. So as a church, we saw a need, and the need was to take care of orphan children because our country was majorly orphaned by those two. Mm -hmm. And now, right now, we've got three villages. We've got Suwi, we've got Bira, and Laminadera. And all the children who are back at home, they stay on those villages. And the 18 that you, you, you're soon to see, they come from the three villages that we do have. Okay. And I, I want to paint a picture of the village, the way it looks like. Uh, on each and every village, we've got a, a medical facility, we've got a multipurpose building, we've got a school on it, we've got um, a piece of land that we use for agriculture, okay. and then we've got um, a playground for the children. At the same time, we've got what we call a baby watoto. This is a facility which has been built to take care of babies who have been abandoned. Okay. Yes, so a child, a baby stays in that village for about two months, two years, and then they graduate into a village. Okay. Yes. So yeah. everything's been growing over the years. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up with Watoto uh, Children's Choirs coming to, to visit my hometown for many, many years. Mm -hmm. So what is it like for these kids to be able to go and see other parts of the world and learn about it? Because I know a big part of what you do is, like you said, raising the next generation, yes. the next leaders for Africa. For Africa. Uh, it's exciting because as we travel, they learn a lot. I'll give you an example. Uh, some of the children come into the program, they don't know how to speak the English. But as we travel, they pick up different words along the way. In that, by the time we have to go back home after six months, they can speak it. Cool. Uh, at the same time, there are certain things that we learn still along the way. I'll give you an example. Like the windmills, back at home we just studied them in books and okay. we just cram it. But as you travel here, you see it and like, whoa. So at the same time, it's an uh, educational thing I look for the children at the same time. At the same time, we're trying to nurture them to be able to be confident, mm -hmm. to be able to speak to different people. Because when they come in, they are shy. They can, you know, to have that conversation, that interaction, they are a little bit timid. But along the way, because they are staying with different families every single day, every single moment, they, their confidence and their self-esteem grows. I love it. I love it. Uh, we're going to see the choir a little bit later on in the show. I'm going to keep you around because I want to learn more about the kids and what the actual performances look like. So stay tuned with me. Stay tuned here on Go. Again, we are hanging out with the Watoto Children's Choir today. They are on their Canadian tour. And again, they are going to be coming back to Medicine Hat April 27th. And these kids are acting as ambassadors for millions of children in Africa who are orphaned, whether it be from HIV and AIDS, war, poverty, or disease. If you want some more information on them, you can check them out, watoto.com. In the meantime, before we go to break, we have a question for you. When did they start traveling internationally with their messages of hope? We'll have that answer for you after the break.
The Watoto Children's Choir made a stop here in Medicine Hat. They're coming back April 27th. I am joined by one of their team leaders, Duncan, who's traveling with the group as they go all across Canada. Duncan, I want you to tell me a little bit about the performances. When you go into the different cities and, mm -hmm. and into the, the churches and the different venues, what will people experience? What is the show? Ah, the show is about all what love. And as the, the performance is happening, children tend to tell their stories, okay. what God has done in their lives. In that way, they're trying to express what God can do for even the people who have just come for the concert. Because we go through difficulties as individuals, by the time we just keep it to ourselves. But as we travel like this, the children and some of the adults, they tell their stories, which are life-changing. So as people have to come in to watch our concerts, let them expect their lives to be changed. Cool. Yeah. Um, I know that the students, as, as they're going around, they're, they're having a lot of experiences, but it doesn't end here, that the point is for them to act as ambassadors of yes. Watoto. Yes. So how do Canadians, how do people in the UK, Australia, wherever you're going, how do we get involved? How, how do we continue helping? Ah. As we travel like this, we're looking for people to come alongside us. You know, the vision is big, and the fact is we cannot do it on our own. We need thousands of sponsors. You know, uh, when you choose to sponsor or when you choose to sign up to change your child's story in Africa, not only are you changing their, their story, you're changing a community inside of them, you're changing a nation, mm -hmm. and you're changing a continent of Africa as well. So you, you can log on our website, you find information that talks about sponsorship, okay. you know, uh, www.watoto.com, sponsorship. All right. Yes. Duncan, I appreciate you guys being here. The students are phenomenal. We wish you the best as you're traveling across Canada here, and we'll see you again on the 27th. Thank you. All right, thank you. Message. Stay tuned. We have a little bit more from Watoto Children's Choir here on Go. Well, that is it for our episode of Go Today. Thank you to the Watoto Children's Choir for letting us hang out with them for an afternoon. Again, they are coming back to Medicine Hat with their Oh What Love Tour on April 27th. Want more information? Watoto.com. As we head out today, let's check out one more song from the students. I'm really good at this TV thing sometimes. It's fire. And right now... <laughs>